All right, so it took me two beers to sneak through my plan, and here's what I come up with. The bottom is dish, so it won't be as straight up as I thought it'd be. So what I'm gonna do is cut the seam, flip the dish end of the bottom. That way, I'll have my two inch ceramic wool here, my one and a quarter inch brick here, and my crucible is gonna start here, which means that the flame is gonna be not at the bottom, not at the top, pretty much in the bottom half of the crucible, which is where I want it. And then hopefully all I can do is cut the top off, stuff that with my refractory, and then that'll be the lid. So let's get at her. fit a large crucible. Why such a big furnace you may ask? Well it's twofold. Number one, I really didn't think it was going to be that big but here we are. Number two, I am like to melt at least a 15 pound casting of aluminum. That's what I'm working up towards and I think this may give me the size that I need. So with my fresh two inch ceramic wool blanket. I'm thinking if I just double up the layers it'll give me that 10 inch fire pot and we'll be golden. And there we have it, the completed furnace, ready to try out.
I added 10 thou to the injector nozzle to hopefully give us that extra little bit of heat. My goal is to get copper to melt in under 15 minutes. So let's test it out and see if it works. And our first copper melt. Oh, almost three pounds. Not bad. A couple of scraps left are laying around. Uh, my camera died as I was loading the crucible, so I wasn't able to get a picture of everything I put in there. But uh, a little bit of cleaning and grinding should get this thing looking good. We'll add it to the alerting pile.